When unusual effects were first added, they instantly became one of the most coolest things ever to be added to TF2, and it even sparked up some new communities to be formed in TF2 as well, such as the trading community and the TF2 workshop creators we have today. The first batch of unusual effects were the Generation 1 effects. These included now god tier effects such as burning flames, scorching flames, sunbeams, purple and green energy, and much more. These effects were loved by the community, and still to this day when we unbox a burning flames or a sunbeams hat, we still freak out just as much as people did back then. Oh. Ah, ah! What is it? Oh, it's unusual. <gasps> Then a year later in 2011, we got the Generation 2 effects, most notably Stormy Storm and Blizzardy Storm. These effects were also really cool and unique at the time, and the community was really digging all of these different effects. Then Halloween of that year, we got our first ever batch of limited edition Halloween effects. These included Cloudy Moon, Flaming Lantern, Cauldron Bubbles, and Eerie Orbiting Fire. These were also loved by the community, and after the Halloween event was over, those effects were never able to be unboxed again, which made these hats much more special. The next Halloween event we got 5 more effects, which are also nowadays god tier effects. Then after that we got the generation 3 effects, which included well known ones such as Disco Beatdown, Miami Nights, and Cloud9. These would go on to become one of the most common effects to see on hats ever. More and more effects kept getting added, but as time went on, these effects got progressively worse. Now, when I say that these effects got progressively worse, I mainly mean that the quality of these effects got drastically worse over the years. Around the 7th Scream Fortress update, that's when you can kind of see this start to begin. As time went on, they just became so, so much worse. The 10th Scream Fortress update gave us stinkers such as the Head of Steam, Open Mind, and Brain Drain. The 11th gave us Wicked sh I mean, w sorry, Wicked Wood and these ugly pinwheel things. Oh, and on the topic of unusual effects, taunt effects have been getting just as bad too since Scream Fortress 7. Taunt effects have always been bad. There's like three good taunt effects. All the other ones are shit. Scream Fortress 12 was one of the worst batch of effects ever, giving us mistakes such as Pumpkin Party, Gordian Angel, these weird giggler things, Pyroland, Nightmare, and Gargoyles. Oh, and don't forget about the Christmas themed unusual effects that we've been getting since 2019 and the summer effects too, which are all pretty much all horrible, horrendous, and hideous, except for maybe the 2019 batch of Christmas effects, but even those are pretty bad. And to this day, Valve still pumps out diarrhea to put in these boxes for us to open and say, Wow, this, uh, this is shit. It's not like I'm bringing up anything people haven't heard already before. The community has been complaining to Valve about them adding these horrible effects and how the quality of cosmetics and unusual effects have completely gone down the drain. Back then, these limited effects were cool because for one, they were quality effects made by Valve, and two, they had an element of rarity to them. Unlike being normal unusuals that you can unbox anytime later down the line, when the Halloween event was over, the cases weren't even able to be opened anymore, which meant that these hats were not able to be unboxed. Will these modern day practices of adding horrible stuff continue? Probably. With the recent announcement of the summer themed update, things might change there, but the chances of that happening are less than zero. Now, with all these shitty effects getting added, there are some pretty good ones burrowed in the trash, such as Pumpkin Moon, which was added in 2021, and Cold Cosmos, which was added the summer of last year. Other than a few, there are hundreds of effects that are just plain terrible, rushed, and just low quality, and just bad. Now, I like to be proven wrong, and I honestly want to be proven wrong with this, but this process that Valve has been following for the last couple of years will probably never change. So I'll see you guys this summer when we get effects such as Orbiting Beach Chair and Generic Flying Energy Ball number 36. Man, am I excited.